And we're live, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for joining us. Well, thank you for joining me. <laughs> um, hopefully, everything will be good to go. Um, so far, I'm going to start out running, running solo. Um, but we will see what happens. See who pops in. I know Manny is usually just getting out of work. So he may or may not be joining us uh, momentarily. And as the title says, <laughs> I decided to try and finish this piece. As Acritius uh, put it on Twitter, and I decided, you know, it would be fun to ink it. So eh, let's see what happens. You know, and uh, let's go ahead and get busy. 7 o'clock already on the, on the West Coast. So we'll see if people jump on. Hey, Ara, how you doing? Thank you for joining us. You missed Trusty. Trusty's not going to be on tonight, um, but he just came in for a quick, <laughs> quick minute to say hello. I'm back to doing, uh, trying to finish out this uh, Critias masterpiece. So, seems like I've been inking it for three or four days now. Um, it's a lot of detail and a lot to work with. I'm doing, yeah, I'm doing well. Thank you for asking. Thank you for asking. And thank you for joining us or me. I'm pretty sure that the rest of the crew will start coming in, you know, 10, 15, 20 minutes. But if not, you know, it'll just, it'll just be a small, quick stream, you know, and uh, we'll do the best that we can to keep everybody entertained and uh, happy. But uh, <laughs> anchors are awesome. Well, you know, uh, I, I, I tend to agree. It's just something that's easier for me to do. Um, so I'm not, I'm not uh, like uh, Doug to Naples. He's like uh, inking, an inking legend. But, uh, you know, hopefully I'll start, I'll keep practicing and maybe uh, I'll get up to par one day. Hard to, uh, the dude has decades of, uh, decades of experience. So. You know, but it's always good to have someone you could, you know, try to emulate. Yeah, I think that looks better. I think I like that way better than before. You know, like as I was, um, trust. Oh, <laughs> oh, there goes trusty right there. Like I was turning trusty. This would be a lot easier if uh, if I was actually working on this project and was able to communicate with the penciler to find out exactly what he was trying to convey on some of these uh, panels. That way I could do him some justice, you know? Nobody wants to mess up anybody else. Uh, you know, artwork. Do my ink jumps come out differently than planned all the time? <laughs> No, I don't know. You know, sometimes um, they come out good. Sometimes they go smooth, and uh, they go they go as planned. Um, sometimes, uh, you know, they um, they take a life of their own. Sometimes you start inking right, and you get into a flow, and what you have planned doesn't work, right? And then you have like uh, like Bob Ross used to say, "Happy little accidents." You know, and uh, then then those turn out to be okay. And I like working digitally when I'm doing inks because, excuse me, one second. Hey, Shinobi Raccoon, how you doing? You uh, you want to jump on the stream, butter? I, I know you've been in and out um, and whatnot. I'm kind of running solo. I could definitely use a a wingman for the evening. And Aaron, yeah, it's a legit question. I laugh because I get nervous because I don't know how to answer it, you know, without <laughs> going into too much uh, craziness, you know what I'm saying? But no, um, sometimes when you think you have something in mind, 
All right. Do I do I have you on my Twitter? Let me check you out. Let me see if I do. I'll send you the link. Uh, everybody, excuse me for one El Segundo while I find uh, Mr. Shinobi Raccoon. And uh, I hopefully I have you on the Twitter. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, Shinobi. I just want to say. You're Shinobi Ninja, right? I hope you're Shinobi Ninja. <laughs> Let me see. Oh, at Shinobi, at Ronin Raccoon. All right. Fine. Awesome. Let me, um, let me find you. And then I'll uh, send you the link. And I'm glad it helps, Ara, man. You know, I'm just, I'm really just an, uh, a hobbyist. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I don't really consider myself all that, you know. Just a hobbyist, and I'm learning as as I as I go along every day. Um, that's why I practice all the time. You know, I practice this and and uh, hope that it turns out well. You know, I don't. Uh, hopefully, that uh, if Critias ever sees it, you know, he. He feels like it was done some justice. You know what I mean? And Mr. Shinobi, um, the link has been sent. Share it in face. Share it in face. Share it in what face? Share it in Facebook? On the, uh, yeah, let me see, hold on. Mm. I haven't shared it in Facebook in a while. I've been trying to keep it uh, all right. And the links have been sent. And there you go. It's it's shared. And it's shared in the Facebook stream, in the Facebook chat. And Shinobi, you should have it as well. So there you go. You know, I know Manny will eventually pop in. I just don't know when. And uh, Josh is playing Sea of Thieves tonight. All right, there you go. And X Plus the Groom dropped by. Like for you, thanks, brother. I appreciate that. And who do we have? Shinobi, how you doing, buddy? Good, good. I just got in from seeing uh, Avengers Endgame. Oh, <laughs> Dark Throne's gonna join us in a while. I, I you know. Some people had, uh, without spoiling, some people had an animosity towards it, but I actually thought it was a very good movie. Hey, Amro, how you doing? Yeah, I mean, so did I. There, so did I. There were moments that could have been better, but other than that, I didn't have too many issues with it. Well, you know, it's like I tell people, there is no movie that does not have some glaring pot ho plot holes excuse me, in them. But I, I, I thoroughly enjoyed it. Um, you know, yeah. there there were some parts that I was like, eh, we could have done without that. And there were some parts I was like, right. you know, I don't I don't get that part. But overall, as a movie to try to wrap wrap up 22 movies or 10 years worth of movies, right. I thought they did a really, really decent job. I mean, so did I mean so did I. There weren't there weren't too many just which is a good thing because because of the stakes that were involved. Mm -hmm. So it's good that they learned from Ragnarok on that end. Yeah, I thought it was good. I liked it. You see it in see. I can't spoil it, man. Nice, I haven't seen it yet. Still recovering from surgery. Uh, man, I'll tell you what, er, it 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 is worth watching. It is worth watching in the movie. Hey, Abe, how you doing, buddy? Definitely. Um, and and um, comic book Bob says, "Hey, say hello, comic book Bob. How you doing? I know y'all came here from Manny. He's gonna show up eventually." You know, he's in that Hawaii time. <laughs> but we do have Shinobi Raccoon, you know. for the I think this is the first time I, he's been on my stream. Yes. Yeah. I know you've been with Manny a, a few times. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Manny's a good guy. I like Manny. So, yeah. So, yeah, there were, uh, you know, I, I liked it. I liked a lot. Um, um, some of the, you know... It was interesting. 
it was interesting. Um, and I see that they did take some cues from Ragnarok, and it was, that was good too. I don't, I don't really, comp you know, it, it to me, it was a very emotional movie. Right. Right. I was really surprised what they did with, Hulk, with the route they did with Hulk. Yeah, I liked it though, and and it was, it, it, you know, it was it was bound to. I thought it was. I thought they would go that route, though. Honestly, I thought it was bound to happen. Yeah. Um, when I when I saw, thought I was like, "What? <laughs> you went that route?" <laughs> yeah, and uh, and I thought they went with the unworthy storyline. At at first, I thought that's what they were gonna go with. Um, but you know, they did not. And I'm not saying much. Hopefully, that doesn't spoil it for anybody. <laughs> But um, yeah. You, um, with what happens, with what happens with with Thor, they took some points with it, but they didn't go full fledged unworthy. Right, right. And uh, for those there was there was a story arc, uh, where Thor went on a intergalactic uh, drinking binge, right, and and he became, if I remember correctly, he. Something happened. He went on an intergalactic binging spree and became unworthy. Or he became unworthy and then went into an intergalactic drinking spree. I can't remember. It's so long ago. Well, all I know, <laughs> all I really know was he was he was unable to lift the hammer because reasons. And then they passed and then they had Jane Foster be Thor for for a while, which was really stupid because it's a na it's a name. It's because it's his name and not something like Captain America or Winter Soldier, which can be passed on from person to person. Right. <laughs> it is. His name is Thor Odinson. Yeah, I mean, I mean, you don't put on you don't put on a pair of Air Jordans and son, and all of a sudden become Michael Jordan, no matter who, how good you are. Yeah, that is very true. So that was that was what I thought they were going with, right? And but I was right. I was kind of happy they didn't. As uh, you know, um, and, and um, also I was surprised about a couple of things that I can't really don't want to go into until people actually see it. But uh, I was I was overall happy. I mean, the end because I because I am a fan of the person at the end. It, it actually did bring a tear to my eye. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, yeah. I, it actually brought a tear to my eye. And I mean, a literal yeah. tear. And of yeah. course, it's a theater, and I don't want to raise my hand to wipe it away because I don't want people to know that I'm crying. So I just let right. that joker just roll. I was like, yeah. man, ain't nobody going to see me cry. <laughs> <laughs> You're sitting in the dark in a theater. Of course, nobody's going to Of course, nobody's gonna see you. But, uh, not, but, to mention, not, not to mention odds are there's probably somebody with the same with the same emotional reaction you did. Yeah. I mean, but, I, 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 my theory, my theory going into the movie was it was gonna happen i didn't know how i didn't know when i liked i personally had no problem with the way they did that i thought it was fitting for me personally uh, you know but but it was it was you know i don't know what do you think Bracy, i was i was surprised i was kind of surprised they went that route but I, but um, given what Doctor Strange had told had told him before before it happened, it kind of make it just kind of makes sense why Doctor Strange didn't give that spoiler right away. Right. Yeah. Plus, I, yeah. Plus, I think it just brings the uh, MCU full circle, or what we've come to know as the MCU full circle. Yeah, it did. I thought. It, I think they did. Uh. Oh hey, thanks, electronics. This is not my uh, personal drawing. How you doing? Thank you. I uh, I borrowed this drawing from a guy named <coughs> Critius. He's doing a comic book called Detective Dead. He put the pencils out on Twitter, and I like to practice inking. So I figured, why not just take his drawing? Um, and you can check him out on Indiegogo, Detective Dead. I think it's still open for 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 uh, right. to buy. So. If you yeah. like it, you're gonna like a lot of the other stuff in there. So I figured I'd give it a little shot at trying to ink it. And uh so far I'm I'm liking it. I'm, I'm not a professional, but it's looking good. <laughs> I think it looks good too. You know, and I'm doing it digitally, so I'm not, you know, I'm not tripping. Right. 
Right. Not shipping I mean, at all. I mean, I'm I'm doing a little uh, I'm doing a little promo piece myself for uh, for Mythoverse, which is available on Kickstarter. Okay, talk talk to us about that, man. Talk to us about that. <laughs> well, it's not mine. It's it's from it's from a Twitter buddy of mine, but it's from the looks of it, it's an anthology. It's an an uh, it's looks more like an anthology piece. There's like three stories in one book. Okay, let me put that. <laughs> Yeah, that's good, but anyway, hey. So electronic circus is in the house. We got a lot of no, a lot of people coming in, and then we put that on so, show. Yeah, I just okay. put the link in the chat for anybody yeah. to check that out. Yeah, I just I just went ahead and and let it show because <laughs> it told me to show to hide. I was like, oh, okay, what what happened here? What happened here? I usually don't block a lot of stuff, so right. I'm usually a pretty pretty laid back dude. Yeah, so. Uh, yeah, but other than that, I'm, I'm going to stop trying to talk about the movie because I know people are going to start piecing it together because there's only so much. Yeah, you, there's only so much you can say before going into spoiler territory. There's only so much, and I don't want to spoil it for anybody because I had a spoil for me. I was at the airport waiting for my lovely wife, yeah. and people had already seen it. Yeah, and, let's, not uh, have a repeat of ish let's not have a repeat of Batman issue number 50. <laughs> You know, and uh, and then that was that. You know, <laughs> it was it was completely spoiled for me because they 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 talked about the parts that I didn't want them to talk about. I couldn't right. care about anything. I wouldn't care about anything else, but they spoiled the, that specific part for me, and I was like, no, not that part. Right. You could have anything said, but that part. Anything but that part. You could have said anything else. So before I got to the movie theater, I already knew about Thor. <laughs> Damn it. Damn. Hey, good I'm dog friend. I'm out of here. Come uh, here. Oh. Come <laughs> on, man. Bring yourself in. Stop acting like a little girl. Uh, it's happening, good dog. I'm out of here, dude. No, we're gonna stop talking about it. Oh, we were cool. talking about I, we were talking about how someone spoiled it for me at the airport. Well, don't spoil it for me, man. I'm gonna see it tomorrow. <laughs> Nobody's spoiling it for you, brother. Shut up. Yeah. If family didn't say, <laughs> Thor is in the movie. You know that, right? No, you do know not in the movie. You know, you do know that Thor is in the movie, right? No, he, he went is, back to Asgard. He, there is no Asgard. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> Asgard is where you, you, whatever the hell it was in that movie. It's not a place. It's a people. <laughs> Yeah, but they tried to place the last film, and you're going. And when you see it, it's going to be very interesting where they end up. Oh God, that's spoilers! I'm out of here. See I you. didn't tell you anything. That was the last. That's just Manny looking for an excuse to get out. I'm gone. Bloodthirsty Gaming is in the house saying, "Hey, brother. Hey, Bloodthirsty. Thank you for joining us." Eric and uh, Eric, Eric is back. Manny, what you up to, brother? How you doing, man? How was your day? Oh, no, dude. I'm afraid that I'm going to hear spoilers. You're not, we're gonna, we were trying to stop, talking, stop about talking about it. But you keep saying spoilers, so now we keep trying to tell you there's none. Right? Oh, yeah. so if you would shut up and move on, we would move on as well. I'm going to move on. See ya. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was going to ask you what you were working on. You're so mean. Yeah, it's so mean. I'm not mean, brother. Just move on. Move on with the conversation. Uh, Bloodthirsty says, Endgame is a great movie. Yes, it was an awesome movie. I thought it was anyway. Well worth watching, but Manny hasn't seen it yet, so... He, we're going to be considerate. <laughs> he keeps thinking we're going to spoil it for him, and we're not. Uh, you you know how I, I said that it's hard for me to get, get into movies nowadays because I guess them before I even watch them. So I try not watching trailers and stuff either. It well, gives away too much. Yeah. Well, try not to watch every trailer that comes out. I, I don't watch trailers, period. You know, just try to keep it keep it calm. Yeah. I mean, basically try to watch. I mean, basically try to try to find that one trailer. Watch that one trailer if you're interested. Just make a note of it. If it doesn't interest you, move on. Right. So he's just uh, like trailers. Tech Ferret is doing doing a a Manny saying he's out. 
Thanks, Manny, for, for driving people away. Yeah, I'm in here, dude. Thanks, buddy. Wow. Appreciate it. Who woke up on the wrong side of the bed today? Please, no more spoilers, says Lorenzo. <laughs> Nobody is spoiling anything. <sighs> yeah, we haven't really, yeah, we haven't really said anything about the film. Other than it's an awesome film. Yeah. Hey, keep it that way. You know? <laughs> I'll keep talking about me dropping spoilers. I'll tell the whole damn film, all three hours. I'll do a three-hour stream doing a pay play by play. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I wouldn't do that to you people. It's it, the movie is awesome, and you should wear, watch it and experience it for yourself the way they were meant for you to do it. Because I'm telling you, man, it, it was it was it was for me personally, it was an emo an emotional roller coaster ride. I don't know what it's gonna be for you guys. But that's what it was for me. That's great. And, uh, it's on today. Yeah. Let's so how was, your, how was your day today, Mr. Mr. Good Dog Press? Yeah, it was okay. Yeah. Working as usual. Understandable. Yeah. I don't I don't know what that is. What what's what's work? I'm just kidding. <laughs> I thought sometimes I think I work twice a, twice as hard. I gotta fight bad VPN and then still try to do work. Right. <laughs> oh man. It's like, man, this sucks. <laughs> oh. I spend more time fighting with the people like Loke. Uh I need connections so I could work. Uh you know I'm surprised is that yeah, last night's uh, stream? We, I had no thumbnail on it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, then uh, what you call it? YouTube didn't give me a thumbnail. What? Yeah. I was like, oh, what is this? You know that just a generic Google Hangouts? That's all I had. <laughs> Lorenzo asked, what are the key Marvel movies to watch before watching Avengers Endgame? Well, definitely Infinity War. Yeah, you have to watch it. Sure. Right. <laughs> Let's see, Infinity War, Avengers, um, probably Winter Soldier. Oh, Winter Soldier well, good. there's 22 um, of them, so, you know. <laughs> yeah, Guardians of the watch, Galaxy. Watch them all except for Captain Marvel. Captain Marvel, you do not need to watch. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> Well, you do need to kind of watch at least one part of Captain Marvel. Well, unless there's a clip of said part, you're kind of stuck seeing the whole thing. Right. But that kind of part, you know, that part is kind of kind of crucial. But other than that, it's like it's like what, a 30 second scene? That's that's about the importance of Captain Marvel for Endgame. But uh, yeah, definitely watch Infinity War if you haven't watched any of that. I would say uh, always. I would say look for all four of the Avengers team ups. Yeah, that that would be if you like if you're crunched for time, you know, watch the four Avenger team ups, um, and you should be good to go. The rest you can Google on YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think, Manny? I don't know. I haven't watched it. Well, I'm talking about if you if you were to watch the movie, what movies would you have watched to get to it? I don't like any of the Avenger movies, so count that out. Well, those are key. Yeah, uh, those are yeah, those are kind of important. But they're boring as hell. Sorry, they're only boring to you, Manny. Yeah. You're, well, you're, yeah. I mean, except for Age of Ultron, probably you're going to have to watch those the Avengers movies to. Actually, I thought Agent Ultron was better than the other two. Yeah, kind of weird. Because Manny's a heartless robot. <laughs> There's no strings on me, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> I am, yeah, I am, so I am making my thumbnail for last night. <laughs> I know that's that's some some of the most clickbait crap I've ever seen in my life. 
hey, I'm the only guy that hasn't said anything about the damn movie yet on my stream. Everybody else has. You said something about it on your stream yesterday that you have it on a spoiler free stream. Yeah, that's what we're doing. Spoiler stream, which means we ain't talking about it yet. You know, give people a chance to watch the damn movie. You're going to watch it. I hope. Well, like I said, I'll watch it tomorrow night. Here's here's one thing that I will say that I that did kind of I didn't I kind of got me a little bit um uh, I didn't like. And it's not about the movie, it's it's um like for Captain Marvel that did the Stanley uh tribute with the Marvel logo, you know, when they start flipping the comics and it showed all of Stan Lee's cameos. Mm -hmm. I wanted that for this film as well. I wanted to see that again. I don't. I don't think we do it for one film and then just call it. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. That was just me. It was kind of like a. I don't know. Whatever. It's nothing important, but whatever. That's my one pet peeve. That's my one thing that I didn't like. I wanted. I wanted to see that again. I mean, of course, I can go on YouTube and see it as many times as I want to, but I don't know. But other than that, that was it. That's it. That's the last thing I'm going to say, Manny. Cool. Oh, and there's no end credit scenes. So for anybody, don't, don't stay. Don't stay. Yeah. And many say he's really intelligent, so when he watches the movie, I'm going to ask him about some things and see if he really caught him. And he says, I catch everything. That's what he told me. That was being facetious. Oh, okay. He was being facetious. <laughs> I was like, oh, okay. We'll see. Yeah. Um, I will say this, and it has nothing to do with the film itself, but uh, there were quite uh, quite a few interesting, quite a few trail inter trailers came up for some interesting movies you know what that's funny that you say that because in the movie theater i went to they only showed two trailers uh what john wick and um something else I, it was that wasn't really too important it was just john wick and something else mm. and john, john wick i will go watch that as well well, the one movie I saw has uh, the guy who plays the Black Panther in it called, I think it's 21 Bridges. Yeah, I did not see that. <laughs> so Chadwick Boseman has a movie coming out called 21 Bridges? Yeah. Mm, the, nice. the, next star, the next Star Wars flick came out, which I don't That's know. the other one. That's the other trailer. You're right. The Star Wars one. And that's why I didn't really pay attention to it. Hey, Bethany, how you doing? But the, the the Mary Sue one, yeah, is that what it is. The one with her flipping backflips and shit. Yeah, yeah. I mean, That's Luke's good. dead. Yeah. I mean, Luke. I mean, Luke is still dead. So who's been training her? There are no. There are literally no Jedi left. Oh, well, she's so damn good compared to Luke. Who Luke kind of sucked, even though he had all the training from the masters. Well, she's she's awesome. <laughs> That's because she's a, she learned from the school of many licious on how to be awesome without having a lot of training. Well, I've said this before. I mean, she picks up a lightsaber, she goes up against a Sith Lord, and she beats the damn Sith Lord. Right. How is that possible? I mean, if I were to pick up an Epi and go up against a yeah. go up against an Olympic level swordsman, I'd be dead in right. five seconds. Come on. I mean, yeah. I mean, both both Luke and Anakin went up against went up against Sith Lords and came out with missing missing their limbs. Yeah, exactly. But they're not gonna cut her limb off, though. Of course not, because of course not for obvious reasons. Yep. <laughs> Bethany says, "Doing good, working on my detective dead on my iPad. I hope yours is looking better than mine, Bethany. I hope yours is looking better than mine." Yeah. <laughs> oh my lord. No, but uh yeah, for obvious reasons, you're right. They're not gonna do that. And and uh, you know, it's it's kind of like for the same reason that uh, that Manny didn't want to drop bullet holes in his uh skunk girl kills the in the universe. Yeah. You think I'm stupid? Hell no. Hmm. 
<laughs> That'd be the end of my YouTube career. Yeah. It's like, yeah, that that pig with bullet holes and yeah. those characters. I don't think so. And then he says, I'm not dumb. I was born at night, but not last night. <laughs> yeah, I was born at night. But not that. <laughs> But not last night. That took me morning. It was 23 minutes after midnight. Yeah. yeah. Now I'm. Now I gotta pick up. Now I gotta see if I can uh, get a copy of that one Star Wars comic where uh, where uh, Darth where Darth Vader uh, apparently impales a star impales an obsessive nurse intern and which. Co which uh, caused the internet to go insane. Hmm. That's the one that your boy Zach was talking about to me. I heard it first from just some guy, but yeah, I think uh, yeah. Uh, formerly known as DNC talked about it too. It's a crazed fan of Darth Vader. Yeah. She could win his love. Yeah. <laughs> um, Vader does not know. Yeah. Um. The only the only woman he has ever loved is Padme, and she died. Or his mom. Oh yeah, that too. <laughs> yeah, he did. Well, yeah, he did wipe out a. Uh, he did wipe out a camp of sand people. Yep. Down to the last child. Yeah. He won't sickle. Yeah. He also went to Manalicious, the school of psychotic people. Yeah. <laughs> Manny, Manny has a lot of schools. That's why he's rich. <laughs> right. He's rich. Yeah, my video went over 1,600 views. Yay. Nice. I'm going to remaster it with Indiegogo. Oh, yeah? You know, for the first thing that you see, is that that video? It's gonna be the remastered video. A squirrel being crushed. <laughs> man, that thing was how many months ago? Bro, I don't know, man. Wow, October eighth, nineteen ninety eight. Yeah. No, two thousand eighteen. <laughs> <laughs> funny guy. <laughs> no, I mean, I'm, I mean, I, I watched it today. I'm like, oh, that would be cool to make me go work for the beginning, you know, because it's funny. It's it's different. It must be perfect. Yeah, I can see a lot of things that I could make better. Yeah, you know, that's always the case, right? I think I, I was talking to I. I Era had asked me that question about inking. Like, does it always go like you plan? And I'm like, nope, not always. Um, sometimes you have, you know, you see some things that could be done better, or you have those happy accidents, and you're like, "Yo, I didn't think about that." I can attest to that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And 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 those things just happen. So, I mean, you have it. You have an idea, right? Well, in my case, I have no idea. I, I just grabbed this and I started inking. <laughs> like, I had no idea. You know, I'm just like, ah, whatever. I'll just figure it out as I go along. But you also write sometimes. <laughs> You know, but sometimes, like, I don't have access to the actual penciler or to Critias to see what, what you know, they were trying to convey. So now it's just up to my interpretation on this, you know, like, okay, so here we go. You know, and I was, normally, like I said, I don't ever, you know, I don't, I don't stick around with one ink job for a long time. I kind of just let them go. By the wayside, but I actually want to try and finish one whole page one day. So why not this one? Right. Dude, that damn thumbnail is total clickbait now. <laughs> you guys with your clickbait, man. Dude, it looks so cool. <laughs> you guys and your clickbait. Dude, that's that's how you get people to come back and watch your videos after you do your live stream. That's true. You know, because like even the the at the altar I did the other night, I was only at ninety seven views when we when we ended the show. It's over 
150 now, so it makes yeah, a big yeah. deal when you got a good thumbnail. Yeah, good right. thumbnail works. I never put any thumbnails. I was just like, well, whatever. I haven't done that either. That jalapeno juice cake is doing good too. <laughs> that master storyteller that told the story was pretty good too. Oh, it's almost over 100. It's at 99. <laughs> Yeah. That's all I care. As long as my videos go over 100 views, I'm I'm happy. Because that was always my goal was like, I don't want to have videos. Like you see some people with only two, three views. I feel sorry for those people. Jesus, that's like my videos. Well, I feel sorry for you. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm joking. Man, Manny's on the list. I'm not Manny. The list. I always said, you know, I mean, I need to make sure I got good content to make people want to watch it. Right. Yeah. Yeah, Speaking of good content, what I need to do, what I need to do is put out content outside of streams. Yeah, that helps too. Um, Marcus Gibbons is in the house. He's saying hello, ERTs and stream. So, did we ever figure out what we're gonna call uh, this bullpen, Manny? I don't know. I don't know if we're going with the digital bullpen or, or what. We gotta figure out what I need to do is I gotta go get my iPad because I can't see the chat. Let me go get my iPad. But believe it or not, the chat is actually pretty pretty quiet right now. Uh, you know, I don't even know how many people we got on or anything. I just I just seven o'clock came and I just went live. About six. <laughs> yeah, six. You guys, it's time. Um, Another thing that would probably help my few viewership is to do do my streams longer than an hour. Uh, I usually, you know, we we did a lot. We did longer streams, but um, I don't know. I think. Um, Keeping it um, the way we've been keeping it, about two hours. I don't know. We could go long, but I don't know. I don't know. What do you think, man? Do you think two hours has been working better? or? I think the two hours is better for our men mental state. Yeah, that is true. Seriously, because it does drain after a few days. Once in yeah. a while, doing a marathon is cool, but you get kind of like, why am I doing this? Because you don't get any more views. No. You right. keep on going over the same subject over and over and over again. <laughs> Kind of like, uh, I need to get bored. People get, get bored. People get bored easily. iPad. Yeah, but the chat is pretty quiet. Uh, oh, this doesn't look good. Someone didn't like Endgame. What? Who didn't like Endgame? <laughs> More. Oh, uh, let's see. My glass has a I think everybody liked Endgame. Who didn't like Endgame? Oh, I know some people that didn't like Endgame, but uh. yeah, I haven't really heard a lot of hate hate for it outside of a lack of. I mean, outside of a lack of uh, of uh, LGBT representation, I haven't really heard a lot of negatives about it. Yeah. Um. So you should have heard Chester stream yesterday. He went crazy. He went crazy. And I think I think sometimes people need to take a step back and, and just uh, enjoy the movie for what it was. It was yes. a good game. Oh, yes. I, see, I see what's saying. No, 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 Marcus. He the reason why he put that X on it is because he didn't want spoilers. No, <laughs> it, it was a thumbnail for my my thing last night. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, it had nothing to do with the the movie. It's just that we didn't talk about the movie last night. Yeah. Um. But. Oh. Is that what's showing? Yeah, that's what's showing on your screen. <laughs> your thumbnail. Let me go get some scout girl for everybody so they yeah. calm down. I'm triggering people. I'm sorry. You should get some skunk girl in the house, man. That's what you're known for. Um, refresh my memory. Is skunk girl a crowdfunding con is is that crowdfunded or is that a web comic or is that like it's gonna be it will be crowdfunded. Yeah, okay. it's going to be crowdfunded. Um, yeah. We don't know. I do not know. I don't want to. I don't want to give a definite May. Where I have to make sure that it's done before I go. Good idea. I do not want to be because when it's done after the whatever I choose, thirty days or sixty days, it's going to go to the printers and people are going to get in their hand by the end of summer. Right. Right. I mean, 
Yes, we don't want. Yeah, we don't want. Yeah, we. The last thing we need is a repeat of Cyber Frog. Well, Ooh, someone agrees with me. Look well, at that. The whole thing is, especially if you're an unknown person, you don't want to be doing that because I'm not just looking at Skunker. I'm looking yeah. at the next one and the next one after that. So if you do not fulfill right off the bat, yeah, they're gonna be. They're gonna be. Yeah, people are gonna be like, well, uh, how? Why should this be any different from your last campaign? That uh, exactly. It's like we don't need this guy. This guy is just a flash in a pan, whatever. Right. So here we go. There we go. Boom. 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 <laughs> yes, and uh, if you're listening to this, Ethan Fast Skyfer, that's nothing personal, but oh. seriously, you've been. But seriously, it's been months since you did that. Since you uh, uh hosted that campaign campaign of yours on uh, IGG and. <laughs> Some of the criticism against you is be, is beginning to become justified, uh, especially given how you've been spending your time on the interwebs. webs. Uh, you know, um, I, I yeah, I I have said some similar things, and people have not liked me for that. And I said the same about Mr. Miller too. Uh, Mike Miller. Yep. Okay. There's a lot. There's way too many Millers in the comic book industry. So it's like, okay, is he talking about Mike Miller or Mark Miller or Frank Miller? Mike. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And I still, and you know what? And the funny part is, I guess I don't know if it's uh, whatever, but I, I have yet to receive my copy of uh, Lone Star. So I emailed him to see, you know, what he could do about that because. That's interesting because, um, uh, according to some of my followers, they they have started to uh, get their copies. They they have started already, or they haven't. Or they've started to get their copies. Oh, they just started. Yeah. Okay, so I thought because I thought he said he already sent it out, people were receiving it. Yeah, a lot of my followers have received them. Have received their copies. I haven't. And, uh, so, yeah, I mean, I mean, it was like that. I mean, it, I mean, it was like that with me with uh, Iron Sights and Jawbreakers. Uh, it just depends on when it's able to get out to you. Yeah, so I'm waiting. Like, like just because, just be, just because it gets sent out, just because they get sent out on a day same day, doesn't mean everybody's going to get it at the same time. Yeah, well, mine is probably lost. <laughs> yeah, but which we'll was see. yeah, which was why on a on a stream I was on with someone else, we basically gave the recommendation of, hey, uh, hey, how about making a PDF file available to your backer so they have some so they have something to hold them to hold off until the physical copy gets there. Yeah, he did send us a PDF. Okay. So, but I don't want to read a PDF. I don't. I, I don't want to read an eighty dollar PDF. I want to read my comic book, physical and in hand. Now I will. I will do that. You know, if that's if that's what it looks like is going to happen. But I didn't. I didn't spend eighty dollars for a PDF. And I don't know about anybody else. I don't, I, in some ways, I can understand it because I myself prefer physical copies over. Uh, over having a PDF file because I can <laughs> out because it, it it most of the time it looks better on better physical than a PDF, right? Depending the on thing, who your is. The thing is, a PDF should not be worth eighty bucks. No, to your point blank. So that that's my thing. Uh, Bethany, I haven't really done any cross hatching. Most of that is still the pencils underneath, so I just took the pencil layer off. <laughs> But yeah, you know that that was it. You know, no. yeah, yeah. If it was just a PDF file for eighty bucks, I would not pay that much for it either because that's stupid, right? And that's and that's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. Because I, I want to read it, you know, and and uh, and uh, give my opinion on it. You know, why not? Yeah, I mean, it's it's bad enough they're doing that crap over at Comicsology where, oh, we're gonna we're gonna charge you for this digital. We're gonna charge you for this digital copy the same way you the same price you would have paid for a physical floppy. Yeah, that's not good. That's not good business. Even though I'm even though I'm just reading it digitally. Yeah. And um yeah, so I don't I don't like that. 
but like I said, you know, uh, I emailed him. Uh, hopefully, he uh, he'll respond. <laughs> I doubt that he will. <laughs> it'll, it'll, it'll. If you're, it'll probably, he'll probably make an announcement on. If he gets enough uh, complaints, he'll probably make an announcement on Twitter, like, "Hey, it's on. Hey, uh, it's on the way." Yeah, I mean. and and if he doesn't, that's bad communication on his part because you have a legitimate grievance. Well, I think that anybody that backed these books and that speaks up about anything they feel um, is uh, it's not right has a legitimate grievance because these campaigns are not cheap. Yeah, and, and, and not, yeah. And that's another thing you have to look at. How many people are being outspoken about this? How many people are having these same issues and are being outspoken and are speaking out about it? I mean, if it was like, I know for a fact that given that around my circle, if this was a B. Clay Moore or Richard Price or another writer, which will rename nameless, they would be all they would be over those people like a cheap suit. Yeah. And, and but you know, like I said, we give, we try to, we try to be nice. We try to be, uh, but it's it, it's just a, after a certain amount of time, it's just a matter. And this is what I've always said: it's just a matter of professionalism. Yeah, you, you're getting paid, so act like a professional because yeah. you're getting paid. Guess what? We want our stuff. Yeah, we want what we pay for. Definitely, definitely. Someone is typing hard. Is that you, Manny? Yeah. <laughs> you gotta keep Manny yeah. engaged, or he'll right. go, or he'll go play Battleship with somebody. No, I gotta do this. this he can't. Uh, and for some of these, you have like a. And for some of these campaigns, they're offering a six dollar. Uh, they're offering a six dollar fee for the digital copy alone. I never really understood the purpose of doing that when you can just upload it onto. Uh, a service like Comic Central or Lulu, and people can get where people can get it. See, that's the thing, right? That's one of the things that I've also said. Like, look, if you're gonna do a PDF, that should be included with any physical copy you sell. Period. Point blank. If they buy any physical tier, they should get the PDF. Right. Now, now, if you want to sell the PDF apart, put it on a put it on a hosting service like Comicsology or whatever. Amazon, Kindle, whatever, whatever, right? And let people yeah. buy it for two or three bucks. You know what I'm saying? It's still income for you. Um, yeah, and, you still, yeah, you're still getting paper. You know, it's still income for you. And if people like it, Don't and pay. they're like, and they're like me, then they'll go and and try to get a physical copy. You know. Yep. And next time you have you do like your next campaign, and you add like, oh, you can get Lone Star One and Two, they'll be like, yeah. I want the physical copies and boom. Uh, sometimes you just got to see, you, you got to take, sometimes you got to take a slight loss to make a better gain. Right. But, you know, who am I? Who am I? I don't, I, I, I gave up on this a long time yeah. ago. Yeah, you're just some guy. <laughs> and not to steal from the other, just some guy. Yeah, right, right, right. Right. Um, but yeah, so Manny's over there. Tick, 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 tick. He's working hard on something. No, I'm just, I, I need to get this out. All right. Uh, ERTs, have Shinobi comment on the chat so I could put his link. Oh, Shinobi, could you type something on the chat? Just scroll up, Marcus. He put on his, uh, uh, his name is Shinobi Raccoon. Uh, if you scroll up, you'll see it. But hey, Shinobi, can you type something in the chat so you can link your YouTube channel? My YouTube channel? Uh, just just, just type anything on your on the lab. He'll pick it up. Marcus is a good mod, man. He'll figure it out. You just type "Hi Marcus" and he'll get it from there. He's uh, he's good like that. Uh, Mr. Alpha said, "Who's that girl? Who? Manny Correa. Uh, this is your time to shine, my brother. And let me put it on the unbreathable skunk girl. What's going on here?" Someone asked, who's that girl? Who's that girl? That is Delilah de Fleur. Who's Sometimes that girl? It, this is a story of the ugly duckling turned with a twist. <laughs> Sometimes you got to root for the bad girl. 
<laughs> that's what it's going to be about. Yeah, she's coming to Indiegogo, hopefully June. Uh, it's going to be right now as it's going. It's 50 plus pages. I keep on adding more and more pages because I've noticed that some of the story is not making sense. I'm missing pages. There's got to be transitions. So it keeps on growing and growing and growing. And before it does go to Indiegogo, it will be done. It will be fully done. I am going to everything. I am so going to keep my eye out for that. <laughs> yeah. So it, it, it's a, when you think about it, everybody's doing horror stories. Everybody's doing superhero, superhero stuff. stories. Where's the villain story? There we go. Well, if you like, if you yeah. like bad girls, if you like uh, Black Cat, if you like Catwoman, Harley Quinn, this is right up your alley. Yeah, bad girls are coming back. <laughs> <laughs> My, yeah. Mine's kind of a bad girl. <laughs> I mean, oh, I gotta Mr. find the, the the quote from Razor Ramon. You know, a yo. You got sometimes you got to root for the bad guy, so I gotta find the real quote and try to use it. Sometimes you gotta root for the bad girl. Mm. Bad girls need love too, especially yeah, yeah. Es especially when you especially when you're in a abusive uh, an abusive relationship with psychotic clowns. Well, she's not well. <laughs> you gotta read the book. <laughs> Uh, she, she does wield two desert eagles if that tells you how much of a person she is what she can do <laughs> okay she's a force to be reckoned with she's what she's a force to be reckoned with then yes she is yes she is yeah mine doesn't really do that she just uses whatever she can get her hands on Yeah, Mr. Alpha says he like he likes Catwoman, so he also says so her parents were roadkill and she wanted revenge on the humans after evolving into a human. Question mark. Oh wow. <laughs> I tell you, man, I tell you the the chat, the chat. Let's see what else is going on. That's it, man. It's a very chill chat today. Everybody's everybody's relaxed. But that is the unbreathable skunk, girl. Let me see. Shinobi's working on something too. Desert Eagle says Shabby. Shabby's in the house. Thank, thank you for joining us, Shabby. As yeah, always. This was, yeah, this was this thing I was telling you about earlier. Hmm. That's the one for the Kickstarter campaign? Yes. Nice. I just included I just uh, included my character in here. Which hmm. is this which is this girl on your left here in the blue uh, onesie? <laughs> and when is this book gonna come out? When are you? I'm not quite. I'm not quite sure yet. I'm still working. I'm still working the bugs out of it. Cool. So I'm in. Yeah, I'm in a similar. Pos I'm in pretty much the same position you are. How far have you gotten? Um. Still brain, brain, still brainstorming some uh, char character ideas. Okay, well. So, Mr. Alpha, that Shinobi Raccoon just answered what he's working on. I am practicing inks over Critias' Detective Dead comic book, which should be coming soon to a theater near you. <laughs> <laughs> Is uh, actually on Indiegogo right now at On Demand. Um, if you can check it, oh. if you. Go on Detective uh, Indiegogo and uh, type in Detective Dead. You'll see the rest of it. Um, Shinobi Raccoon's doing uh, something for somebody's uh, Kickstarter, and Manny is doing whatever Manny does. Well, I'm working on doing my big blacks on my page. Oh, Mr. Alpha says he knows Detective Dead. He backed it. Well, I, I borrowed uh, Critias put this on Twitter, and I was like, oh, yeah. Like finish, awesome! I just put some inks over this pencil and see what it comes out like, and that's what I did. But don't tell Critias; mm -hmm. he might get mad at me. Now, actually, he knows because he just liked my tweet, the tweet that I just put out saying that I was gonna work on it again. So, and Shabby says, "What? Let's see what Shabby's saying." Uh, show. 
I like how people are waiting for the book to be finished before going for Indiegogo. Yeah, that's always a good thing. You know, um, I think, I think, I mean, unless you're really, really, I don't know. I can't speak on everybody's situation, but um, the more you have done, I think the better it is. Establishing goodwill yeah. with your customers All right. is always a good thing. Well, especially if I, you're, you haven't been proven, proven yet. I mean, guys like right. Ethan and guys like Mike, everybody knows what their artwork looks like. So they can, they have the, they have that advantage. They can do that. People like me, who people have never seen before, they want to see, right. okay, what you going to show us? What you going to sell us? And yeah, we're not going to buy that or we right. will buy that. Well, that's pretty right. cool. We didn't think of something like that. So that, that's the whole thing. And people that have been watching me on ERTs for how many months now, they have seen the improvement. They have seen how much work that we've been putting into this. So it's not I'm like part of the team a, now. it's not like it's a fly by wire kind of deal. You know, this is actually, it's been improving, you know, taking our time, taking my time, getting, getting it done correctly. Right. Um, Making yeah. sure the cookies are baked before you take them out of the oven, people. You don't want to be eating Half baked cookies. Yuck. <laughs> and you see it all the time. Half baked cookies on Indiegogo. It's like if you guys had just taken two more months to just tweak it a little bit, yeah. it would have been successful. Yeah. Here's an interesting tweet from uh, Ethan Van Skyver. Uh, he says uh, apparently he's been, apparently some. Uh, some creators he's who apparently some of his creators slash fans have been giving him crap for not doing live streams to promote their campaigns. But in here he says, um, ladies and gentlemen, you must create your own audiences and build your own platforms. If you don't have 25k followers or subscribers, you shouldn't crowdfund yet. Yeah, I saw that tweet. I, I don't believe that. I believe that you should crowdfund what you think that you're worth. You know, if you just want to get it out to like maybe a hundred to five hundred people, why not crowd crowdfund it? Right. You know, like for me, I know I'm not going to make a living off of this. I'm just going right. to fund. You know, I'm going to I'm going to get it into the people that have been supporting me and watching my streams with ERTs right. and on my channel, and they've been right. waiting for it. And I don't need to make hundred thousand dollars of stuff. You know, right. whatever I make, I make. And as long as I get into people's hands, that's all I care. Right, but at the same time, I kind of see what. But at the same time, I kind of see what he's getting, what he's kind of getting at here. Like, if you don't, like, if you have a small, uh, if you if you have a small following, don't expect a big payoff. Yeah, yeah. I'm not, no, you know, it's there's things that he says that I agree with, and there's things that I don't think I agree with. But um, well, there's lots of stuff he says I don't agree with, but still. <laughs> yeah, but but I think on this one, I kind of do agree with him. You know, like if I like Manny saying, Manny is building his own platform. He's streaming every day. He's always drawing something skunk girl related. He's building his hype, right? He's not dependent on anybody else. You know, he's not dependent on the big guys to yeah. to get him that to get him that. You know, so I think what Ethan is saying is, you know, hey, you got to go out there and put your own effort. You know what I'm saying? Right. Just, uh, just don't write my cocktails, you know, because I'm not guaranteed, you know, that people are going to buy it just because, you know, hey. Right. Well, you, you see guys who actually has been on Ethan's show and they don't even capitalize on it. Right. Not, like, but, you know, they, they just, they're just using him and, you know, they don't go make their own content on their own show. I mean, right. Some of them, yes, but some of the smaller guys. You never see them doing streams. You never see anything. Right. But, you know, but at, I least think, I at least I haven't seen it. Yeah. So on that part, I agree with him. You know, you do have to, you do have to put in your own work. Now, you know, there's nothing wrong with asking for help from somebody, but never. I mean, here's the thing, right? If you're going to ask for help from people, uh, and there's people that are going to help you regardless, right? That, yeah. But, but the thing is this, if, I'm more willing to help someone that I know is trying to help themselves than someone who doesn't give a damn. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like if Manny's trying to help himself and I help Manny, I know that Manny's going to take 
maximum opportunity of the help that I'm giving him, right? Well, I'm, I've already been a proven commodity that you know that I'm going to be live streaming every week. Right. You know, I'm on, on here all right. the time. So it's not like I'm like, oh, he's going to come on my show. He's going to try to get his little 15 minutes of fame and that's it. Right? Yeah. No. You know, that's not how I roll. That's not how I've been doing it for the last seven months. But that's what I'm saying, see? And there are people that don't do that. Yep. You know? John Miller yeah. said it better with his grab and speech. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Everybody has to put in their part. If yeah. if if someone believes in your project, you know, like um, uh, like maybe EVS does like your project, push you on the show, you get the big boost, but then you don't do anything afterwards. Whose yeah. fault is that? It's not Ethan's yep. fault. Nope. That's your fault. Exactly. You know, that and that's why yeah. I think that's the thing that people keep failing to realize, you know, someone will help you if you're willing to help yourself, but you gotta put in the effort yourself and right. you can't blame people like ethan or manny or me or or shinobi if if you don't succeed you know yeah we we'll put you on the shows you know we'll talk yeah. to you about your projects you know yeah. but yeah but it's we'll not our personal responsibility to ensure your success you know All right i mean with this project i mean with this with this thing here i'm working on oh. it um uh the guys that are working on the uh, uh so first, they didn't ask me to do it. This was just what I chose to do to help to help them to, to help get word about their book. Right, but uh, you know, but but I on that one I agree with EVS. You know, like hey, you know, you 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 gotta put in your own work, people. You know, um, I know I know that EVS has a lot of clout, and uh, yeah. Pablo says I will blame you. Doug Doug doesn't agree. <laughs> it says Pablo he'll blame me. Um, working on my DD page, but this thing I wish I had hands weren't so shaky. Says Bethany Costa Henry says hello, Marcus. Hey, Costa Henry, you're new to you're new to the channel. I haven't seen you before. Costa well, Henry was on my show the other day. He's pretty damn good, dude. Yeah, yeah, he was awesome. I haven't. I, I haven't. I did I miss that show because I don't remember. Him. It was a Friday. It was Friday night. Yeah, I wasn't on that night then. I don't think. Yeah, I, I did that free for all. Oh. Friday. And he jumped on. And it was like he, he was awesome. Nice. He's from Brazil. It's from Brazil. Cool. Uh oh. Uh oh. So now we got Paulo Romero from Argentina. We got uh. No, I started Henry from Brazil. I started. I started adding in some shading, and I did it on the wrong layer. Oh, that happens. <laughs> Fortunately, no, I that layer, dude. I did it so many times. Well, I caught it and was just able to control Z and put it on the right layer. So yes, that that control Z is amazing. I keep telling people about it. Learn but, uh, your hotkeys. Yeah, but See, like, um, I've I've seen a one uh, EVS uh, stream that he had all these newcomers, and every single one of them were freaking YouTube stars. Not one of them was showing their artwork. They all had their face showing on the camera. And EVS told him, why am I looking at you guys' faces? You guys are ugly. <laughs> right off the bat. And I was like cracking up. I was like, yeah. It's oh. like, why do you – don't show your face. Unless you're Tom Cruise. Unless you're on Tony Don't be showing your face. Or that guy who played – or that or that guy who's currently playing Thor. <laughs> yeah. If you ain't that handsome or Chris Evans or whatever, don't be showing your face. <laughs> I don't want to yeah. see a damn guy with – Scraggly ass beard and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> <It's> like, <"Come laughs> <on." laughs> Mr. says he's in Texas, but he's he says that Argentinians are beautiful people. Oh. I think there's a love connection with Pablo Romero and Mr. Alpha. <laughs> but <laughs> yeah, a lot, and this is kind of yeah. I mean, you you can't really go on this. You can't go on your. Uh, yeah, you're. Yeah, a lot of them are. Yeah, a lot of them are YouTube stars, and they've been going on, and they've been going on, and they'll, and their content is mainly uh, comments, gates, this or social justice warriors that, or, or uh, what's or what Renfamous had for breakfast, and that'll 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 carry that'll only carry you so far. It's like okay, okay, that's nice and all, but uh, what about your project? Yep. And Shabby, only the only person that thinks you're handsome is Pope Fire. Uh, yeah, that, that that's it, much. Shabby. That that's it. Everybody else thinks you're about as ugly as uh, I don't know, 
shabby. Here's the scary part. I look just like you 30 freaking years ago. Oh, so, my Lord. Yeah. So, yeah. you know, you're about to be one ugly old man, shabby. Yeah. Sorry, shabby. <laughs> I look like that, shabby. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> look at your future. Go look at my picture. That book first. Post it so many damn times. Uh, Poor shabby. It's the lover, man. Shabby. Yeah. <laughs> But uh, no, you know, but on that I agree with. Um, and then Mr. Alpha said that Critias is going to put X amount of pages out on PDF for people to read of Detective Dead coming soon. He said he spoke to Critias, so that'd be awesome. Good. You know, Critias is really excited about this project. Um, so, so that'd be awesome. Good. Oh, man, that's what I sound like. <laughs> I just thought. Feel- I just pulled my uh, tablet out so I could read, so I could read the chat, and it played. <laughs> yeah, it's all good, no worries. Um, so now can't I know what I sound like. Can't can't read the chat when ERTs is here. He gonna mm-hmm. knock you off the side of the head. Nah, nah, nah. nah, nah, nah. <laughs> Paolo Romero says that's what you look like 30, 300 years ago, Manny. Yep. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> that's another thing you gotta do if you guys want to make. Make your channel fun. You just go with the jokes. Yep. <laughs> you got to go with the ribbing because if you don't, if you be a jerk about it, you're dead. You're done. Mr. Alpha is going to bed. So good night, Mr. Alpha. Thank you for dropping by. If you have not smashed that like button, please do so on your way out. It is greatly appreciated. And many will giggle like the Pillsbury Doughboy at the end of the show for it. <laughs> <laughs> Don't mind me, fellas. Don't mind me. I'm just a silly old man. It's a background color, so... I'm just a silly old man. There we go. Hey, looking good, man. Looking good. As a matter of fact, we're going to put it on. I went, I went to went to the art, art place today. Well, it's not really art place. It's a craft place. They do not have India ink, dude. They don't have India ink. What no. kind of art place doesn't have India ink? The ones you know why. Well, I know where <laughs> I can get India ink, but I wasn't about to drive that far away. It's so an it's island, like, Manny. How far can you? How far could it possibly be? Well, if I had draw, if I had driven to that other place, I would not be here right now. I'd still yeah. be in traffic. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. No, we we like you on the show. I started without anybody on. I was like, man, I'm by myself. All by myself. And then we turned up. <laughs> yep. And I was like, man, you know yeah, in the house. As long as I got uh, acrylic paint, it's good enough. It's just as good. That's how you can tell a painter from a comic book artist. Like, yeah. ah, I got acrylic paint. It works. KG says, you're not old, D. That's right, because KG is older. So, <laughs> yeah, unless you happen to be Alex Ross. Alex Ross. Yeah. What about Alex Ross? Um, that guy. I don't know if he. I don't know if he has another colorist or he has a or he does his own. But the way he, but the way he draws and does colors, it make everything looks realistic. Oh, uh, he he's the painter. Oh, he paints. I know, I've I've seen his technique. I've studied his technique. It's interesting. I always thought he did both. <laughs> well, he does pencils, then he goes over and washes. Right. And he ink, he uh, does heavy blacks, then he goes over with uh, watercolor washes. That's all it is. Interesting technique. It works. Yep. Goes to Henry says you and your acrylics. You and your acrylics. That's what they're saying. Manny and the acrylic. And the I gotta, acrylic I, gotta I gotta hide all the all the spoiler alerts. So I can only work on half of the page at a time. <laughs> <laughs> oh shoot, you only got like 40 minutes. Hmm? <laughs> I think he used gaucho. You said that in a video. Oh gouache. Gouache? Gouache? I don't, gouache. Know what saying. I don't know anything about art, man. Gouache is, uh, gouache is opaque watercolors. Yeah. That's all it is. I've got gouache. 
I've got oils. I've got acrylics. I've got everything. But I was about to say, did you go see a doctor for that gouache situation, man? No, but the first time I used gouache, I thought it was oil. So I used linseed oil with it. And I found Oops. out that it wasn't oil-based <laughs> real fast. Oh. Uh, then I asked my teacher, what is gouache? And he started laughing at me. He was like, that's watercolors. I'm like, oh, no wonder my linseed oil didn't mix with it. He just looked at me and was like, really? You use linseed oil on gouache? Yep. Yeah. Because many licious don't play by the rules, man. I hardly use gouache. I don't like gouache. And it just don't play by the rules. He said, yeah. well, brothers, I'll mix that with oils. Yeah, gouache is a pain to work with. What in the ever-living hell was this guy thinking in this corner? Uh, mm -hmm. Whatever. Let me just go ahead and go ahead and line that in and see what I come up with. He's wrong, Blair again. And uh, I think only people use God. I think I only used Gosh once, many, many, many moons ago. Pablo Romero says I tried recently; it didn't go well. Well, Pablo, you're not many. Why would it go well? It Why really would... does. Why would it go well if you're not many, Pablo? Well, the whole thing is just saying. I mean, like for gouache, I mean, like I said, it's it's opaque, so it's not like a, a watercolors, which has had that translucency to it, which is so awesome. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that's why I use when I use my acrylics. I do when I do my paintings. I do the same style as a uh, Soroyama. So I use a wash when I use my acrylics. So that what gives it that translucent translucent effect. Mm -hmm. Time consuming, but great payoff at the end. Right. <laughs> Bethany says her brain hurts from trying to ink Critias's work. Uh, or Critias's inker's work. So she's done for now. <laughs> <laughs> well, now it's time for her to step up to the plate and do a Jim Lee. <laughs> oh, my Lord. <laughs> now you're just asking her to fart the Red Sea. You know, that that, that is mean, Manny. Hey, I did it. Well, I mean, that's you. you're many licious, you know. <laughs> I, I think I started on your stream and I ended it on my stream or something like that. <laughs> I did a Jim Lee once. I don't think it turned out all that well. Yeah, it was. You did your Jim Lee, and I'm like, oh, I, got, I should do the same thing. You inspired me. I inspired you. Whoa. You hear that, people? I inspired Manny Licious. You inspired That's a first. That's a first. Oh, it's a lie, but it's a first. <laughs> Why would you not inspire me? That's why we're in this uh, digital bullpen. That's why we're here. You're the feeling. <laughs> this is, I mean, if you guys have a chance, or if you guys are into artwork, seriously, go go get an art group or something and go go maybe once every two weeks or once a week go hang out and talk shop and have fun. And that's how you're going to grow as an artist. Yep. And that's how we've been growing. I mean, we've been doing it electronically. It's crazy. We've been doing, it. We've been doing we it. really are pushing each other to get better. Digitally, electronically, yep. Google Apple and all that good stuff. I just make up like words. 3,000 miles away, 6,000 miles away is nothing. Not in this day and age. We're all connected because we all live in the yellow submarine <laughs> in the town where i was born i actually got to see him in concert he was cool did you know Paolo says he kind of like watercolors but takes too much time <laughs> <coughs> Judge jimmy oatmeal says i'm back so still still complaining about his late lone star yep I'm still complaining about my late Lone Star. And he didn't answer you back. No, he hasn't. He has not responded to my email. No, he should have responded to your email. That's what's even... not cool. It's like, 
you know. Yeah. He has not responded to my email, and it was a kind email, a very professional, kind, gentle email. Because many knows the kind of work that I do, so. Well, that's I, the whole I, thing with some of these uh, quote unquote professionals. I'm not talking about Mike Miller. I'm talking about some other people in in this YouTube communities. They're not very good at public relations. They're not. Nope. I am shocked, you know, because like, seriously, because I've been, like I've been telling you, I've been selling artworks in 1988, professionally. 1888, professionally. Okay. 88, whichever, but, you know, there, there are certain things that you should be doing to the people that are buying from you. That way you can make them a customer for life. Right. Hence, hence my not really interested in backing that new Lone Star. Yeah, and then that, that's the one thing is you just uh, make one wrong move and then you, you lose a customer. And then he's going to be talking to all his friends I'm about right. his bad experience. Let me just talk to you guys. You guys, but you guys don't care. So, <laughs> you know. I mean, yeah, I mean, at this point, I would probably back a... Uh, I'd probably back the next book of Jawbreakers before I backed it, back some of these other ones. Yeah, at least that that did. Since, since your boy Zach actually delivered, he did. He did, and I still haven't read it. <laughs> I got it right next to me and everything. He delivered. I even I, had Iron Sights. I never read that either. I, I read both. I read. I, I've read everything that has come in except for Stardust. I read. I thought you read Stardust. Nope. I told you all I don't do the horror genre. I just I just did it to back the guy so he can, you know, to help to help out. But you know, that is what it is. Let's see, but there's the gaming is laughing. <laughs> KG says hello play thirsty. But there's the gaming is in the house. If y'all haven't checked out his YouTube channel, he's already surpassed me, doggone it. But he's on his road to 1,000. So if y'all like gaming wow. and chilling, you know, go check wow. out Bloodthirsty Gaming. Very Definitely cool got guy. a long way to go. Yeah, I, I, I'm way short of anything near that. I haven't even hit 600 yet. <laughs> I haven't even hit 100 yet. You will. You gotta. You just got. Believe it or not, it's just about consistency. And I and I dropped right. off on my consistency, and and I paid the price. Yeah. Right. Um. I do. Yeah. I mean, I do try to stay consistent, but it sometimes it's just hard. <laughs> it is. It is. Like for me, uh, this this next couple of weeks, I can pretty much stream every night. Um. Cause cause my my uh, wife is is uh, working night shift, and um, so I'm. I don't have anything or anyone, you know, that that needs to be tended to. Right. You know, which was what which was the problem, like like many was saying, staying on as long as we were staying on. Right. You know, it was causing, you know, we, we, we were just kind of neglecting some other things. And I well, maybe maybe not many, but you know, just the spousal units make you feel like you've been you're neglecting certain things. You Dude, know? Last thing was awesome. Right after our stream. Uh, my wife just came home. I told the guys in the private chat, I'm like, I'm going to go eat dinner with my family. See you guys. It was so awesome. <laughs> yeah. You know, and, and that's good. You know what I'm saying? Oh man. Bloodthirsty said I'm stuck at my number. Well, if y'all have not checked out Bloodthirsty Gaming, uh, go check them out. You know, and if you like, if you like gaming, um, and chill people, Marcus Gibbons is also his, uh, his trusty wrench over there. Marcus always makes everybody feel welcome. Go check him out. You know, give him give him a little subby sub if you want to. If not, it's all good. Right. But uh, he's he's a good guy, man. He's a good guy. Hard worker. He's probably at work right now. Because <laughs> uh, he works nights, if I'm not mistaken. You know, so he's just trying to he's trying to do his thing. He does little. He right now. Uh, Bloodthirsty says he's editing now. Hey, Bloodthirsty. So they're asking you what kind of gaming you do. So go ahead and uh, do your thing, buddy. Tell them about you. 
at your thing. You know, you so your home is what you're saying. And if you're home, why are you not on this panel? Why are you not here with me, Bloodthirsty? <laughs> He's not an artist. He's a gamer, but he enjoys the art stream. So, right. You know, you know what? I'm about to make you. Where's the copy uh, kid, man? He's playing um, Sea of Thieves. That came out. Okay, so this is the dumbest thing ever. So this Sea of Thieves is like a pirate game, and they came out with a patch where people can go fishing off the boat, right? And, uh, and I, I was, I'll send it to uh, to your Discord, um, but thirsty. Give me a second. I gotta get my phone. So, <laughs> so they uh, came out with a part where you can fish in a pirate game. So he decided that he wanted to go fishing on a pirate game. Oh if that makes any Lord. sense, Lord. So I didn't invite him uh, uh, because I didn't want to, you know, you know what I mean. So I was like, you know what? I'm just going to leave him alone. Let him play his fishing game. Well, um, you didn't invite him. I did. I did. When I, I when I sent the link to the group. So um, so I was like, uh, all right, you know, let me, <laughs> I'm not going to, I'm not going to bug him because he's, Having fun fishing, laughing, because I was playing Division Two, and then I was like, "Oh, okay, um, it's time for you know I, I need to stream today because <laughs> Manny streamed yesterday. Tonight is my my time to stream, so you know let me let me get that going." Uh, I'm not gonna be streaming tomorrow, now, eh? Yeah, direct. Let me see if I can figure out how to do. Nope, don't not do that because it's never gonna work. Uh, all right, I'm just gonna put it in the general bloodthirsty. What the hell? Hopefully, I don't get a whole bunch of people. Uh, send. All right, Bloodthirsty. I put it in the general chat. Oh, you need help picking the, the two wrenches and taking some off? All right. We'll get with you, man. So, Bloody, there we go. check your Discord. I'll send you the link. So, you can come on here talk about your show a little bit, too. Dude, you know, I put the link, I put the link in the chat three weeks in a row. Uh-huh. Only one person used it. <laughs> really? Jeez, that sucks. <laughs> only only uh what you call it, uh uh ghost of Henry did it. Yeah. Oh, I'm not putting it in the <laughs> in the I'm putting it in his Discord server. But Thirsty has his own Discord server. So I'm putting it on his, but I but he has a lot of he has a few people on there. So uh <laughs> I'm just hoping we don't get a whole bunch of gamers. <laughs> so you know, it is what it is. <laughs> What happens happens you know what i mean mm -hmm. um yeah so i guess the next question manny is how long do you want to go on tonight because it's already eight almost 8 30. oh uh, this is your show you do what you want to do yeah but you know i can't go i can't go with there's nobody on shoot and i don't want you feeling like you need to be on longer than you need to be no i'm, I'm just working i'm just covering up what i can't show Showing what it can show. So, Magatine Joshua says, What's wrong with gamers? Their name Joshua. The only gamer I like is that Jimmy Oatmeal guy. I don't know. My wife kind of like suspicious of that Jimmy Oatmeal guy. Yeah. <laughs> Why is that? I don't yeah. know. Some girl is like, You know who this Jimmy Oatmeal guy is? And I'm like, Yeah, that's Joshua. She goes, Oh, okay. It's kind of mean. Yeah. <laughs> He's a butthole, but that's why I like him. Uh, I was like, yeah, that's Joshua, honey. It's like, oh, okay. No, Pope he's going to deny being mean. <laughs> but Pofire started that whole thing, so I can't even get mad at Joshua for it. He just capitalized. He capitalized on, on Pope Fire. <laughs> Pope yep. Fire? Yep. <laughs> Speaking of which, let me give Manny some love. I've been having it on Shinobi for a while. Let me get it on Manny Licious for a second. Oh, so nobody got to see that pretty cool panel that I was doing? Uh, <laughs> Jeez. I didn't no. know people were still look. I didn't even know they were still watching me work. They never got to see this pretty cool panel? <laughs> no, no. No. 
No. Now they get to see that pretty cool panel. They can see it now because it's gotta, locked on you. I got to draw all these different scenes in this damn monitors. Yeah, it's going to be a pain in the butt. Yeah. Yeah. Negative Joshua says rip. And then uh, Malcolm's Given says we said oh my at the same time. So everybody's laughing about that. <laughs> Who said oh my? Me and you? I think so. <laughs> oh my. I haven't done my uh, Burt Reynolds laugh though yet. So I know. That's what Marcus is waiting on. Then he's going to leave. Dude, the, the Burt Reynolds thing is so spontaneous. I, I don't know when I do it. I don't know why it just comes out certain time because that's what I, I don't usually laugh like that when I'm on other streams. I can't do it with people watching. <laughs> you can't do it on command. Yeah, so, I can't. Because so, if I so. try, it's going to sound stupid. But when I do it, it does sound like Burt Reynolds laugh. Oh, they posted the link at the same time. Okay, that's what happened. Because <laughs> KG and Marcus Given, man, like El Gran Jave and Marcus Given, the man, the myth, the cheeseburger legend. They put the same link? <laughs> yeah, at the same time. Who who did he link up? Uh, comic book Bob. <laughs> oh, that's funny. You know, that's funny. My well, mods are on it, dog on it. Yeah, that's why KG's got a wrench. Because yeah. he knows that he get a wrench. That's that's a lot of responsibility there. It's a big responsibility. Man, this is off the cuff, right? But when you say big responsibility, you know that Mr. T made an album a long, long time ago? He did. I wouldn't doubt it. Yeah, it was all like all these little positive vibe things. Like the Spanish one was Don't Tell Lies. And uh, then they had one called Mr. T's Commandments. Believe it, because every word is true. It was it was a funny little freaking album. I was a kid. I think I was like 12, 13, something like that when it came. Comic Book Bob says he remembers that. Am I right, Comic Book Bob? He had one album, right? <laughs> oh, my Lord. Dad. Did he have a song called A Pity the Fool? No, not on that album. So he did have a song called Pity the Fool. I'm joking. Not on that album. Not that I can remember. Pity the Fool. Oh, my Lord. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm not crazy. Uh, my mom bought the LP. She, she, liked, she liked Mr. T, and she thought it would be a good influence on me. I don't know what happened. I guess it didn't stick. But, but nice try, Mom. Nice try. It's a good try. Man, Critias, your pencil just went way too many details in the damn thing. Oh my god, man, that thing was crazy. It was him trying to do positive stuff, but still using the tough guy voice. That's right. See, he did. He did. <laughs> yep. And he, uh, even the videos of it, he was trying to scowl and and still try to be positive, try to do uh, <laughs> like positive life lessons. <laughs> oh my. He was scowling at you while he was trying to give you positive life lessons. It was it was crazy. Crazy. Oh my goodness. B. A. Baracus. Yeah, comic book Bob remembers. I'm not the only one. Bad attitude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Marcus is saying, if you're new to the stream, don't forget to uh, follow and subscribe and smash that like button. It's greatly appreciated. And if we yep. get over, if we get 28 likes, Manny will do the Burt Reynolds laugh. <laughs> 20, 20 can't do when people are watching. <laughs> yeah, I know. We only got, but maybe they haven't hit the like button yet. I mean, I got 22 likes with 11 people watching. That means people have been coming in and out. <laughs> so they've been coming and going. <laughs> Micah says, yes. <laughs> <laughs> See, that don't sound right because that's, I'm forcing it. You know, it's got to come out natural. Then it sounds more natural. When I'm trying to force it, it just doesn't sound right. <laughs> I don't know, but Marcus loves it. He loves it. Uh oh, hopefully Skunk Girl's not watching. 
but it says yeah. Thumbs Up says Mr. T rap song, Treat Your Mother Right. Yeah. <laughs> Shinobu Raccoon, he's tweet, tweeted us out with his picture on there saying what he done did. I'm going to give it a like on the Apple Watch because, oh, Manny, I might have another uh, another review video. Someone's going to send me a product to review. <laughs> I don't know. I'm, I'm, that, that, that'll be the second one, right? So, hmm. I, I might, I, I don't understand. How, how come I don't have more followers, man? People are finding me, but not the right people. 23 likes. Aha. Rice's pet raven. Hail raven, squawk. <laughs> How many freaking puppet accounts does Joshua have? Oh, Rice's <laughs> pet raven? <laughs> <laughs> my lord. Oh, my. <laughs> uh, somebody came in here and oh, ate my chocolate. Not me. If I would have been there, I sure would have. <laughs> That's a good idea because you can use the campaign. I don't Come. eat my chocolate like that. Let's see, Mrs. T Commandments. That's right. So, see, so y'all know I'm not lying. Comic Book Bob posted the Mr. T Commandments video uh, on on the chat. <laughs> Mr. T's Commandments. Oh my goodness! I don't even know what made me think of that. Was it like Hulk Hogan's demandments? <laughs> Brother, oh. I got the 10 demandments. Nah. Uh, I don't know what it, I can't remember what this lyrics were like. <laughs> Comic book song. Someone needs to do a song like this for the next Indigo campaign. I agree. I agree. I think it'll be funny. Funny. Um, yeah, I, I don't know, to be honest with you. Um. <laughs> You were saying something about responsibility, and then Mr. T's commandments popped into my head. Believe it, because every word is true. Yeah. How am I going to draw now? <laughs> I don't know, but it looks like the dog wants to be involved. Yeah, she's licking me now. Leave me alone. <laughs> I want to be in the video. <laughs> yeah, she's always oh, wanting to the gaming has joined it, has joined the chat. Bloody, what's going on, buddy? Everything's good. How about you? Good, man. So, what you editing, man? Um, a couple of videos that I did uh, today, plus the new DLC that just came out about the interceptor and stuff like that, and um, so trying to uh, set up a couple of uh, events coming soon that I need the mods help. And um, trying to figure out how to promote more on my channel. And then um, I was talking with um, Marcus. Um, we have a really big video that he really touched upon that um, I edited it. But uh, Marcus really, are, he's the true artist that knows how to touch up uh, explosions, fire, stuff like that. He knows how to enhance it a little bit more like, like it's a battlefield film. You know? Yeah, I've seen some of his videos, man. Marcus is amazing. Yeah, man. So, you know, it's good that he, you know, I'm glad we met. I guess that we, we put two of our minds together. And, uh, yeah, he, he knows how to put some stuff together. And, and that's why I'm, like, blessed to meet him. Yeah, he's a good guy. I like him, too. I kind of stole him from your channel, but it's all good. <laughs> I'm glad you met too because it um, teaches me how to um, put a couple of ideas together to promote the channel. You know me, I'm, I mean, I'm not going to stay with just just this one design. Right. You know, I'm, always, I'm always looking for improvement to better my design and be, you know, people be like, yo, who did that? And, you know, I give them the link and they can talk from there. And stuff like that. <laughs> Michael Gibbons, he's balling. I guess he's. He's balling because we're giving him so much love. Yeah, man. Yeah. Marcus is a good dude, man. I've been kind of been kind of in and out lately. Uh, I think I haven't been catching by a lot of your streams, but I'm hopefully I'll catch you tomorrow or something. I might uh, stream. I might stream tonight or you know, tomorrow morning. Probably. 
Once I'm done editing, I, I mean, I can show it as soon as I'm done. Oh, man, that'd be awesome. Uh, Ghost of Henry says, see you guys. Good night, Ghost of Henry. Yeah, Good night, uh, Ghost. My wife is uh, working swing shifts for for the next three weeks, so she comes home at four o'clock in the morning. So I'm, and I work from home, uh, so I I try to keep the noise down. So I haven't been really jumping on the computer and doing all that kind of stuff. That's what um, I to get in, <laughs> you know. Um, it, it, it's it's uh, I don't like it because she's not happy, and when she's not happy, she makes you know, then I'm not happy. But hopefully that. That whole thing will be over with soon, and she can go back to her regular work schedule, and I can go back to being me again. Right. You know? Because, uh, you know, it is what it is. Many knows. Anybody that's married knows. If the, if the spousal unit is not happy. Well, to be honest, uh, I could relate to that. The only thing is I'm not married yet. And second of all, I'm unhappy as well but you know i don't think that my relationship will last any longer uh, really yeah oh man sorry to hear bud right um, yeah i don't like it either. i don't like it either but all i can all i can say about that is i can relate Definitely relate. Yeah, you know, it's it's just tough, man. It's tough. It's yeah. tough business. Now, you know, when you're trying to build your channel and, you know, and, and doing a lot of things at once, you know, it's it's finding that balance. And that's what me and Manny were talking about, like trying to keep our streams to uh, to maybe just two hours a night and whatnot. <laughs> More so for, my, for me on my side than for Manny. It's still early for Manny, you know, so when Manny's gets off it's, it's like lunch dinner time for him um and for me like it's already 8 37 in, in the evening you know um and then when i was in the east coast it was even worse because i was getting off the computer 11 12 o'clock at night you know so moving to the west coast kind of helped um but still and it's it's still a little bit weird and then um you know once, once i find a uh a job that I have to drive to, I won't be able to stream at seven o'clock in the in the in the um in the evening. I might be doing nine, ten o'clock at night like I was doing on the west in the east coast. So right. you know it, it 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 it's a balance, man. You know, it's a big balance. Right now I'm I'm pretty happy. I get to work from home for now. Uh and, and you know I roll I just all I do is swing my chair from one desk to the other and I'm quit mm -hmm. working and I'm streaming. <laughs> you know like I got three computers and just set up in different desks, and and all I do is swivel my chair around to each computer, and that's it. And uh, and and that's what I and and then I'm done. You know, I move from one to the next. Uh, right. You know, and of course my digital tablet. That 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 my wife's like, you need to start drawing again. You bought that freaking digital tablet and you haven't drawn in a while. Yeah. Jeez, I gotta get a digital tablet. <laughs> yeah, I love this thing, man. Um, it's not, it's not a, it's not a what you call it. What's that fancy one that all the artists, the professional artists use? Uh, oh, yeah. uh, the iPod or wherever it is, Samsung's got going for it. No, it's a. Uh, what's that one? Uh, Wacom. The Wacom, yeah. The, the um, what they call it, but I know it's Wacom. But what's the name that they use for it? The uh, Cintiq. Cintiq. Yeah, it's, it's not a Cintiq. I don't, I don't, I can't play yes, with those. Oh, they said I, got, yes. I got a Huey on. I got a cheap version. <laughs> and yeah. It's not really that cheap, but yeah, it's a cheaper version. <laughs> like, I said, like, yeah. Trusty Psychic said Cintiq. Cintiq. Everybody's saying Cintiq except for me. Yep. Yep. I bought one, so I should know what the hell it's called. Right. <laughs> yeah. Well, you I almost bought one. No, I couldn't afford. Well, I could have, but I couldn't justify it. I mm. bought a 13 inch Cintiq and they was going to ship it because I bought it from Amazon. Mm -hmm. So they weren't going to ship for a month. And I said, this is ridiculous. I ain't going to wait a month. And that's why I bought the UG. 
right would ship in a week but even the yulian um that comes from china <laughs> didn't take that long you know and they package that thing amazingly the yulians are packaged man dude the yulians are packaged amazing like i kept the box and i put it back in the box when we moved and this thing came out unscathed not like a lot of things you know as we had that one stream where i was building a desk one of the things that did <laughs> not come unscathed yeah but i love the Huion, man i got the this, this is a 21 uh 21 22 inch screen man it's freaking amazing mm -hmm. for old blind guy like me it works that sounds like something i can use yeah and this has got that uh it's got that textured glass mm -hmm. so uh it, it gives you that little feeling like you're drawing on paper so it's not smooth it just doesn't slide on the glass like like you would with maybe an ipad or something like that mm -hmm. i like it gives you a little tactile feedback i guess is the best way to put it <laughs> Sometimes it's not the best though, man. Right. I might have some issues and it's send another one. So now I have to probably, yeah, not that, I don't know. Uh, I like it. I don't know any better. Um, so to me, it's wonderful, you know? Um, I, I don't know. What does Pablo use? Helion. Oh. Yeah, I got my UG over there. It's like, okay. Yeah. See, and comic book boss says Mikey Mega Mega uses a Huion. I thought he was using a Cintiq. I know he did an unboxing video for a Huion. I didn't know he was still using it, though. Because I watch a whole, whenever I'm going to buy something, I watch like a million videos. Every <laughs> video I could possibly find. My mm -hmm. wife gets mad at me. She's like, why are you still watching videos on that? Because I need to know more. <laughs> yeah, you, gotta, you gotta know what you're paying for. So I need to know more. You know, that's like uh that it, I laugh because I don't know if you all remember Taken when he was buying that karaoke machine mm -hmm. and he kept looking and studying and looking and studying. I, I'm just like that, except the particular set of skills. I, I don't have those, but I am meticulously, you know, uh, I have to go see it. I have to uh, research it. I have to find everybody, even the negative, the positive, you know, and then see if it's worth it. <coughs> and the Yulian is the one that made sense for me. Um, yeah, I got it up here on uh, Amazon or some of them. Yeah. I mean, I, I would love to have, I would have loved to uh, um, justify the Cintiq to my wife, but. I'm not a professional artist by any stretch of the imagination. Right. Um, I like I like to draw. Yeah, I'm a I'm a hobbyist, but you know I can't do that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right. You know, so I couldn't get time. Because what I like is like a tablet I can kind of take with me on the go if I'm on vacation. Like, say I have to say I leave town and I can I can continue to uh, I can. Maybe make drawing videos with it, or just be able to do do stuff and post it on Twitter. And hey, Manny, uh, Josh has logged in with all his Pop Socket accounts and <laughs> drove the likes up to twenty nine. So you have to do uh, the laugh. I tried earlier, and Marcus said it was good. You know. <laughs> I don't know. You're gonna have to do the Pillsbury though, yeah. boy. You're gonna have to do the. No, I thought, you meant, I thought you meant the. No, I still can't do it when people are watching, huh? <laughs> I thought I thought that you he wanted the the Burt Reynolds laugh. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So can you gonna you don't know, man? They they drove it up to 29 likes, mm -hmm. and they, and they're saying do better, Manny. Do better. Do better. Do a better attempt at the laugh. Uh, <laughs> seriously, I. It's not my natural <laughs> laugh, so I don't know how it comes out sometimes. I'm messing with you, but you, he did drive it up to 29 likes, and they are requesting it. I, I'm not saying anything else after that. I they, did a horrible Pillsbury Doughboy the other day, and 
Josh Chris did a way better one. I know, but he's not on. We got all accounts matters. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my all the Lord. <laughs> Huge draws. Yeah, I'm telling you, he he got all his pop socket accounts in here. And wow. uh, <laughs> Joshua. I wish I had that many pop sock pop accounts. <laughs> he got them all in here and drove it up to 30 likes. <laughs> <laughs> so you can do the lab. I don't know, Manny. I'm Mega just team saying. Joshua, my lord. Hey, all I'm saying is the people. The people demand the laugh. <laughs> the people have uh, spoken. Oh my goodness! <laughs> Why can't I say Manny Licious? I got you, booga booga. <laughs> booga booga. Hey, look, man. That's between you and El Marcus Givens. You know. Booga Booga was a comedy team back in the 70s in Hawaii. Mm. All Accounts Matters with your boy Josh. It says, do it. <laughs> Be like Nike. Just do it. Your boy Josh. <laughs> Is this like yeah. a your boy Zach thing? Yeah. yeah. He, Josh has uh, many, many accounts. He had. So he does he had, do so does he have like a YouTube video where he uh, takes a picture of himself reading reading a uh, horrible SJW comics and then tearing them up after he's done? I don't know if he has that. Where's good Josh Press? Good Josh, <laughs> good Josh Press. Yeah. <laughs> Look, if good Josh Press shows up, you have to do the Burt Reynolds laugh, okay? Oh no. Oh. Because I haven't I... seen good Josh Press in a long time. Right, <laughs> you know, uh, ask and he and you shall receive is all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> Everybody wants to laugh. Uh, it was, was even a there was even a a joke death by booga booga. Oh, I remember that. Yeah, remember? <laughs> I remember that. Oh, that was a horrible joke. That was a horrible joke. Booga booga. I remember that joke. Do you want death or do you want booga booga? <laughs> I will take booga booga. All right. So, <laughs> booga, booga. That's all I'm going to say. You guys got to go, go get that joke on your own because I will not say that joke on ERT's channel <laughs> yeah, was, I, I remember the joke I now remember. you remember the joke <laughs> i remember no i remember the joke as soon as you as soon as you said it was a joke and i was like ah i remember yeah. that joke Mac. as a matter of fact no. I, one of my friends uh hawaiian friend told me the joke oh God. <laughs> oh wow oh because i you know, I, I, I am a big proponent of, you know, Islanders stick together, even from since I was a young kid. <laughs> and, and KG is saying he heard it as Ruru. Death by Ruru. <laughs> so I've always been like, hey, if you're an Islander, we're hanging. We, we're hanging tight. We're not going to let no mainlanders come over here and do anything. Damn right. Damn Skippy. Right. I still got a long way to go, but what do you think, Manny? You got a long way to go on what? On this on this page. Well, you do what you got to do, man. So no, no, what I'm talking about what do you think about the? Uh, he wants to know your opinion on what on it so far. All right, there you go. Uh, it's too small for me to see right now. Uh, yeah, blow it up, son. You gotta blow it up, boy. Uh, blow it up. That's about as big as I can get it. There you go. That looks good. Uh, I, took yeah. a, I took all the pencil lines away. I like it so far. It's a lot going on in this damn picture drawing. Right. Damn you, Critias. Yeah. And your and your yeah. storytelling. I yeah, I gotta start doing actual pages on a a studio, a clip studio instead of manga illustrator. Clip studio is nice. I like it. 
The thing I like about manga studio is that you can do multiple pages on one file. Yeah. Well, Clip Studio is manga studio. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. So, it's not like it's... It's just... I don't know. It's yeah, just a name it's convention that. thing. Yeah, you know? It's not that different. I don't know. It looks the same to me. I don't... I bought mine on Christmas. It was on sale. It was a good price. They, anybody that wants the Clip Studio, just wait for it to go on sale, man. You'll you'll get a really good deal on it. Yeah. And they, and they go on sale a lot. A lot. Yeah. Just keep an eye on the sales or get it on it while supply. Get it on a lot of sales. Sell last. You got it. Mhm. Mm and then you can always get the upgrades too for for uh, upgrades free. Yep. Yeah. Like other thing that charges you every freaking month yeah right. and not only that if you want to upgrade the program to like the the more robust program you catch that on sale too and boom yeah oh yeah that would be the ex wouldn't it because i think i have to program oh I, oh i'm sorry i didn't have it on rotate people were asking oh all right so i apologize comic book bob and everybody else um holy smokes Chop, Fanny, they pushed the likes up to 40. They're still waiting <laughs> <laughs> uh, on the lab. All right, let me go listen to what the hell the Pillsbury Dough Boy is talking about. <laughs> really? Oh my gosh. Anyway, uh, folks, this is what I was doing. I was inking over Criti over uh, Detective Deck um, on Critias's. Uh, he posted it on Twitter. Um, but it's a it's a lot going on on this on this panel. Um, a lot, and it's a uh, one, two, three, four, five panels on this. With the easiest one being the the two bottom ones. <laughs> but you know, I don't understand one thing. He didn't x out the background on this one, but he xed it out on top. So I don't know. Um. Like he made all the X, which means he wanted a lot of darks, and then on this one he wanted it all light, and I'm I'm confused. I'm thinking it should be the same, all darked out. But who am I? I'm not the guy who drew it. So I'm just I'm just a guy. I'm just an amateur inker that that wanted to do uh <laughs> wanted to play around a little bit. I think I think <laughs> I think the pressure of having to do the laugh. Has got Manny gone. I'm trying to listen to the damn thing, I and mean, that was a horrible one. No, <laughs> <laughs> mm -mm. very dull boy laughing. I don't know when this is from. <laughs> oh, that's disgusting. Oh, <laughs> do not look at that on YouTube, people. <laughs> That was wrong. Yeah. Do not yeah. watch Billberry Doughboy laughing. This is really, right. really bad. I'm gonna put it on, on free flow at a rotate. So when people are talking, it shows what they're doing. Oh. oh, oh man, what is this exploding Pillsbury Doughboy? Oh, they do horrible things <laughs> to Pillsbury Doughboy, man. <laughs> oh man. Joshua, hey, here's not that Joshua he says no pressure, but uh, you know, don't screw it up. <laughs> oh man, I, I love I love the trolls. Joshua Hughes by himself put the like from 18 to 40 by himself. <laughs> man is getting reference material, folks. And uh, Pablo Romero says, instead, go Google Nina Hartley. There you go. That's hard to do, man. Oh, my Lord. And that's pretty close. That's beautiful. I like it. I love it. I hope the audience enjoyed it. 
Oh, my God. <laughs> oh. oh, my Lord. Joshua Hughes says, I had some help, but yeah, most of them were me. Yeah. Joshua Hughes pushed by himself. Oh, comic book says, said, uh, comic book boss said, just do Joshi for Mario. Same thing. <clears throat> I'm a Mario. <laughs> I'm Batman. I'm Batman. The, the high she, have you, have you ever watched the high she's? The who what? The high she, man, how it should have ended. Oh, mm -mm. Oh, the, 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 the Mario versus Batman is hilarious. Mario tells Batman, I'm a superhero. I'm a superhero. No, you're not. Yes, I am. No, you're not. Yes, I am. <laughs> it's stupid as hell, but it's funny. Yeah, so he did not put blacks on the background, which is weird. I figured you would. I, I don't know what he was trying to do here, but it's not on my business. It's none of my business. You've never seen how it should have ended. Uh, Anybody ever seen it? Uh, I think I've, I've seen. Is it a YouTube series? Yeah, it's a YouTube series. They take all the popular movies. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, they, yeah, yeah. I see. I see some of them, but I I don't remember this particular one. My favorite. Well, the first one I ever saw was the Star Wars. How it should have ended. That was just hilarious. It's like, okay, uh, we have to wait thirty minutes to get in position. Fire the cannons now. <laughs> okay, we're in position. <laughs> destroy the destroy the planet. Yeah. It's like one of their first ones too. Many, many years ago. Many, many years ago. Many, many years ago in a galaxy far, far away. ERTs. Hmm? <laughs> we're saying? <laughs> many, many years ago in a galaxy far, far away, ERTs was on this island in the Atlantic Ocean. Yeah, you know, it's funny, right? Because, uh, you know, you know, when Paramount Pictures and all those people, you know, they, they put the globe and show the United States, right? But I always tell people the only reason why they put that is because you can see Puerto Rico and they're really just trying to show Puerto Rico on the low, low. And the United States is just a byproduct, you know? <laughs> <laughs> oh, trusty psychic says he she Lord of the Rings is brilliant. Yeah, it's brilliant. They're so, all pretty funny. Brilliant. Let me get rid brilliant. of this. That actually looks pretty damn good. So he says he she. I say hi she. Oh, yeah, that's right. Well, there's a hi. Yeah, you're right. I just kind of, you know, omitted a couple of letters and, you know, call it a day because that's what I do. I speak in the broken English. I speak it the broken English. Speak it. English that is broken. You speak Islander. I do. I mean, for a guy whose English was a second language, I think I, I think I have picked it up pretty damn well. But <laughs> you speak very good English. You know my my uh, my accent. I always tell people about. I don't think my accent is that strong until I hear my voice on the streams. <laughs> Freaking <laughs> KG Pillsbury Doughboy laugh. He's putting that link in there. Really, KG? <laughs> That's <laughs> right. People work hard. There's 41 likes. Ooh. Well, since you can't do it while people are watching, I guess they had to get it somehow. I did it. He did do it. Oh. That was me. I mean, the first time you heard the Pillsbury Door Doughboy, that was the, the video, and then I did it myself. Ah. Uh. <laughs> That's me. <laughs> <laughs> I have way too much fun with you guys. And uh, Pablo says, two speaks when English. Yeah, no, not when I first started. Boy. That, that was some rough. That was some rough sledding when I first started learning how to speak English. That was rough sledding. And he learned all the bad words first. 
Same thing. Everywhere I went, that's all they ever taught me. People thought it was hilarious. You know what would be funny? Let's teach this little Puerto Rican kid all these wonderful words. <laughs> Go tell the teacher this. Okay. What does it mean? It means this other thing. Okay. Then I'm on <laughs> detention. <laughs> and then I'm on detention. Oh, my Lord. I do the same thing to people that want to speak Spanish, though. Right. <laughs> Trusty says that sounds more like Hootie than the Pillsbury Doughboy. <laughs> Hootie? Yeah. Hootie? Hootie. That's what he says, bro. I don't know. I, I guess he means from Hootie and the Blowfish. Or maybe Hootie the Owl that you made him draw. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I knew it was going to go. It's also possible. It's, that's all it gets back to Hootie. Yeah. Because <laughs> man, he made him draw that stupid owl. But right. you know what? It made his, his drawing a lot more dynamic. <laughs> Nanny and his uh, dumb it, gave, it, it gave it more more appeal to people who like animals. So not only people who like uh, superheroes, now we got animal lovers loving it too. Furries mm -hmm. mm -hmm. were happy. You can't just draw a Dr. Midnight without Cootie. And now you know why he said that. If Manny was on him about that stupid owl. He's not a stupid owl. The Ortiz is so mean. <laughs> I'm not mean at all, man. Right. I'm not mean at all. I'm actually a pretty, pretty nice, right. <laughs> pretty nice fellow guy. <laughs> you know. Let's uh, let's ask your wife. <laughs> sure. Let's get your wife's opinion. My wife <laughs> that I am a ruffian. You're a scoundrel. But I'm a lovable scoundrel. Nerf herder. <laughs> Scruffy nerf herder. Yep. Game in the house. What's going on over there? Doing uh, uh, was there a, was there a tank turret fighting tonight? There was no tank turret. Uh, I think it came for like a half a second. Ah. Uh. Yeah, so there was a sighting tonight. And then he said, "I'm leaving," because Manny said he was leaving. <laughs> I said you were driving people away, man. I'm sorry. How are you? I know you just driving the customers away. What's wrong with Manny? I did drive some people away from some chat and all that. <laughs> yeah, you, you drove them away from mine. Not from your chat, from somebody else's. I felt so bad. I was like, what the heck, Manny? Well... I just left my, uh, I just left the, I just left the link with my info on it before get, before uh, getting off. <laughs> That's good. Um, oh yeah, shoot, it is nine o'clock. So let's go ahead and and wrap this wonderful thing up. And nobody, let everybody know where you can be found. Okay, I just put. Okay, you can just look at. You can just look. The, at the links I just posted up to find me on Twitter and on YouTube, and uh, <clears throat> actually, so you can check those streams out. I do streams. I'm kind of. I'm. I do mainly drawing streams on there. I have some plans in the work for a uh, said YouTube channel, so be on the lookout for those and follow me on Twitter to get updates because YouTube isn't always good with notifications. Yes, I know. YouTube is horrible with notifications. Mm -hmm. Bloodthirsty, let everybody know where you can be found, brother. 
Okay, he's working on something. Uh, Good Dog Press. <laughs> I am Manny from Good Dog Press, and you can usually find me Monday and Friday nights at 10 p.m. Eastern on my channel. And you can get me on uh, Twitter at Good Dog Press <coughs> also, excuse me. And look for Skunk Girl coming very soon to Indiegogo. And I will be redoing my original um, video, uh, Skunk Girl, No Squirrels Allowed. I'm going to remaster it. So that nice. should be coming out pretty soon also. And yeah, thanks for having me. You're welcome, buddy, man. It's always a pleasure to have you on, man. It's, you're, part, you're part of the part of the team you're part of the bullpen whatever we decide to call it <laughs> <laughs> and uh bloody bloody you there buddy i'm here i'm here just uh, let everybody know where you can be found sir because we're about to wrap up i only do two hours at a time okay not a problem um you can find me at uh the youtube channel called bloodthirsty gaming um i play a bit of uh gta black ops 3 as i'm back at division 1 because division 2 doesn't suit my my speed of gaming but i see everybody's really into the the drama and the uh, exciting ways of people hating on the actual skills that I have. And um, <laughs> I'm trying to like uh, promote this channel just a little bit more to start little tournaments, you know, do like amazing giveaways because, you know, people that support me, I love to give back. And then the more I give back, the more I feel good about it because, you know, support means a lot being there you know, cheer me on. Maybe I can be an MLG versus people from state to state, country to country, overseas maybe. You know, I'm just trying to follow my dreams and if it wasn't for everybody else supporting me and for the new supporters that know Ortiz that's trying to support me, you know, there's going to be some great events, some giveaways I'm trying to put together. And, you know, people that want to give away stuff to me, that adds on to another giveaway <laughs> to other people that just, you know, want to uh, just have a good time and just know what, what family is about and the, the the love and just being there and just being loyal and just having a good time. And plus, you know, my channel is just not for gaming. I mean, when I game, I, you know, you see other subscribers coming in just to vent and ask for advice. I'm good at doing that, too. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, my mods do the best the best they can because, you know, I try to multitask while I'm versing a lot of toxic players and stuff. So shout out to the mods as well. But, um, yeah, you'll find me there. And um, if I'm live, catch my live. My Discord is below my videos most of the times. And, you know, um, if you like shout outs and stuff like that, just um, vote more games that you want me to play. And I'll definitely shout you out. Big shout outs. And I'll start my new video soon and definitely promote you and definitely let you know you know what you're about and you know i'm just here to grow and to make sure that the people that support me grow with me that's basically it awesome and my name is of course e ortiz i am your humble host uh i can be found on colorblind underscore e on twitter e ortiz arts on facebook e ortiz arts on instagram and e ortiz here on youtube hope everybody has a blessed evening uh, God bless and good night. Aloha. Peace.